dollars in value engineering and reduction of the contingency fund and the request for $30 million more. So I've told them I'm not going to give them $11 million until we see a detailed accounting of what's going on here. Projects, there's always, you know, changes on projects, but this is a big change. And on top of that, to just sort of wipe away six years of public outreach and process on the actual design of the bridge um, to go from a symmetrical bridge to a Ross Island style bridge where you have a sidewalk and, and uh, bike amenities on only one side, but you leave the, the Belvedere's on the south side where there'll be no sidewalk and the, and the intersection on the west side isn't even fully designed yet. I mean, that's a level of movement and lack of clarity that the community rightfully said, hey, whoa, hang on here. So the city's not a piggy bank. I need to know where this additional costs are coming from because I'm going to have to cut the city's transportation department. And the budget was approved on July, you know, takes effect on July 1st. So, you know, it, it's frustrating that we hear about this just in the last, you know, days, literally days. Right. And it seems like there's been some proposals for some changes, like changing the gears from steel to concrete and things like that, but they sound like none of them have been passed. So what do you think are some of the changes that will happen um, to make those cuts happen? Well, they offered up, you know, $30 million of savings on the project through a whole long list of savings. Mm -hmm. I literally got that list a uh, day before yesterday. And... You know, that's not enough time for me to really provide any sort of meaningful oversight on behalf of taxpayers. You know, what the county board does in terms of their vote tomorrow, you know, they're independently elected, that's their business. I need to understand the detail before I'm going to go back to the city council and ask for cuts of, a, you know, the equivalent of $11 million more in the Bureau of Transportation to, to try to fill the budget gap for the Selwood Bridge. So. The short answer to your very good question is, I don't know. <laughs> so do you think that they're going to be prepared um, to give you some of those answers that you need and want? Well, at the, at the oversight committee meeting, they said that they would provide me that detail. I'm going to ask my staff at the Bureau of Transportation to dig into the project. Um, you know, I want to be clear. I mean, this is a complicated project, and, you know, it's understandable that, that things might change as you go from 60% design to 100% design. But the last minute nature of you know, flagging these changes, the significant changes to the design after six years of you know, public process on this, and then this like $70 million swing in the budget without detail, that's a lot to ask of a major funder like the city of Portland, stakeholders, um, in the community, in the business community, that's a lot to ask. 